What's up guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. I'm in a good mood today, as you can see. Um, today I have this bad boy right here. This is kind of like a dupe for the Cosarex Snail 96 something product. Uh, this is one, it's called, this is from Costa Baja, which you guys know, it's one of my favorite brands. Snail Machin, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, this one is actually better than Costarex in my opinion because it has a more complex ingredient list um, and it's actually even more affordable I think. So uh, yeah, before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare and check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Um, I'm gonna start as always with the packaging. We have a nice pump bottle. You guys know I love pump bottles. They're very convenient to use. Um, this one is not, uh, it's pretty transparent. It's not opaque and it is in a, in this like, which looks kind of like a glass bottle, but it, it's not, it's actually plastic. So it's not gonna protect the products inside from light. Um, but we don't have a lot of, we actually have some antioxidants in this one. Well, just store this one in a dark place and that's gonna solve the problem. What's going on with my hair? Um, when it comes to price, I bought this one on sale on iHerb and it was like $10 only, <laughs> which is a very good price. But uh, it is a very affordable serum. It's more affordable than the Cosrx one. And you get slightly more, you, you get 100 ml with the Cosrx, you get 120 ml with this one, which is for fluid ounces. Very cost effective, love the price point. Um, when it comes to irritant ingredients, we don't have any of those in here, no fragrance, no alcohol. This one is also fungal acne safe, basically 10 out of 10. We have some um, extracts, some eucalyptus extracts, some, um, what's this, some rosemary extract, but um, I wouldn't consider these fragrance ingredients. Uh, these are not the oils. Extracts are gonna be much safer, even for, for people with sensitive skin. Uh, basically, yeah, I, um, in, in my opinion, they're not as problematic as the oils. So um, I would consider this one fragrance free. That's, it doesn't have any smell. Those are there mainly for their like antioxidant benefits and antimicrobial benefits. I think eucalyptus is also used kind of like a um, preservative, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, product is safe, fragrance free, alcohol free. When it comes to my experience with the product, the ingredient list, I love this one. Let me show you the texture. It basically, well, you guys know how snail has this like stringing thing going on. Very hydrating. Oh, it feels amazing on the skin. Such a nice sleep. We have 83% snail extract in this one, snail secretion filtrate. And for me, this is mainly a great, great hydrating ingredient. Uh, but we do have some small studies showing that it naturally has some peptides, some um, AHA acids, which are supposed to like slightly exfoliate your skin. I wouldn't, I would not use this one like as a peptide serum replacement or something like that. Those are just small studies and I think we need much more data to actually prove the, the, the benefits, I mean, those kind of benefits of snail extract for our skin. Snail is also supposed to have some antioxidant properties. Um, it's, um, we have a small study showing that it actually is slightly anti-aging, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, but the, the study had only 25 people, so it's not a big one. Uh, and I think it's mainly because of high, how hydrating the snail extract is. That's what plumped up the wrinkles and offered those results. Um, it is gonna be repairing for your skin barrier. We know snails are using it to kind of like repair their, yeah, what's that called? My English is not that advanced. <laughs> well, you guys know what I mean. So yeah, it's a nice ingredient, uh, very popular in K-beauty, people love it. And for good reason, it feels amazing on the skin. It's very, very hydrating. Then we have some propanidiol, which is a good uh, humectant and penetration enhancer, some glycerin, which is my favorite humectant. Um, we have some niacinamide in this one. That's why I'm saying it has a more complex ingredient list than the Corsarex. And I love niacinamide. We have 2% niacinamide. 
uh, which is a pretty good amount, have studies showing benefits of niacinamide in 2%. Great for basically any skin problem, helps repair your skin barrier, produce more ceramides, anti-acne, anti-oiliness, uh, maybe reduce your pore size, probably in higher concentrations, uh, helps with post-inflammatory post hyperpigmentation, basically helps with almost any skin concern to a certain extent. I love niacinamide. Then we have we have panthenol 1%, which is helps repair your skin barrier. It's soothing for the skin. It's a very nice humectant. This one is full of humectants. I really like this product. We have some betaine, which is also has some nice skin moisturizing and protecting properties. After that, we have some hyaluronic acid, which is a nice humectant. People love this. Uh, we have some beta glucan, which is another humectant that's supposed to be even better than hyaluronic acid. It attracts more water. Aloe leaf extract, another humectant and anti inflammatory and soothing ingredient. We have a little bit of um, uh, licorice root extract, which is great for uh, soothing your skin, redness, post inflammatory hyperpigmentation, even, but I don't think there's a high, there's a, like a high enough amount in this one to actually make a difference but it is in there so it's nice have some allantoin and other serving ingredient adenosine a really nice mix of ingredients in this one a lot of good humectants that's why this one is so hydrating my my hand feels so like soft right now and hydrated and plump uh, and i feel that every time i have to, I have to apply this one on my face uh, it helps with dry patches uh, then we have just some, um, like I said, some plant extracts, uh, some witch hazel, a very, very tiny amount. It's not going to dry out your skin or anything like that. Uh, mostly probably used as a uh, antibacterial and preservative in this one. Some rosemary extract, eucalyptus, and that's basically the ingredient list. Really like this one, you guys. Great dupe for Cosarex, even better than Cosarex. I feel like it's even more hydrating without being sticky or like, you know, that when you have like a very high amount of hydration, it gets tacky and stuff like that. This one is great, great price point, 10 out of 10. <laughs> so um, yeah, you guys let me know if you've ever tried this one, what do you think about it? Um, what other products I should check? Just leave comment something down below. It helps with the algorithm and exposing this video to as many people as possible. I love you all guys, I see you, I will see you all in my next video.